Hello everybody and welcome to the maiden edition of a new uh, conversation and this conversation is essentially going to be about your data and uh, you might want to ask so what is the meaning of data of course that's one of those things that we're going to be talking about in this conversation so we're going to be looking at data privacy and the law and uh, joining me in this uh, on this conversation or better say in this podcast I- i'm going to be doing this alongside my colleague Ade Damola and so we're going to be taking turns and sometimes you see us come together to guide you on the power of data and today is just by way of introduction my job is to you know, bring this up to you, let you know that we're starting this interesting conversation. Because come to think of it, it's been said that data is the new oil. Way back in some years, uh, some years ago, I realized that we had a number of people that were so passionate about getting into the oil economy. That was the years of the global uh, boom within that industry and so you had people always forming this I'm from Niger Delta and all of those things and I just want to let you know that well that era is gradually facing out and we are in the era of data where we say it's the era it's the data driven economy and this makes a lot of difference so today I just want to do an introduction to you and your data and so what do we mean by data usually data has to do with your information and it could be a direct information or an indirect information whatever can be used to then make you identifiable can be considered to be a data so we have different examples your date of birth for instance is a data your full names is a data And interestingly, we belong to a generation where people love to use their full names as their email. I also have that kind of challenge. If you are to check my email, well, so I can mention that in the open, my email is ayitayoogunyemi at gmail.com. But did you know that in giving that email, I just shared my data? It's not just about sharing my email. But it's about sharing my personal information, which has to do with my name being the first name and the last name. My, my sex is my data. My height is my data. Anything that has to do with identifying a person is a data. My phone number is a data my blood group, my genotype, everything that has to do with identifying me, my account details, anything, everything that has to do with making me to become identifiable. In essence, it doesn't have to identify me directly. It could be an indirect thing that then identifies me, indirect in the context of, it could be a secondary thing. For instance, the details of my wife, it indirectly identifies me as well. So, when we say data is the new oil, we then mean, imagine how data is driving many economies. Let me give you an example so that you understand what we are talking about in this conversation. So, you take the example of Facebook. Facebook is making a huge chunk of money leveraging on people's data. Are you aware that everything that is shared, so Facebook says, what's on your mind? Or how is that question put? And then people get online and share stuffs. Are you aware that these have been extracted in form of data? Interestingly, there was a recent research where it was discovered that some of these social media platforms would create robots that would chat like real people, engage, uh, make friendship requests, chat like real people, ask questions, and then extract data from people. 
just to be able to identify their likings, just to identify their behavior, just to identify everything that is identifiable about them. And when this happens, then this information is used to then create products and solutions that tally with their preferences. Now, these are magical tools, or these are magical results that originate from the use of data. So for instance, I might have engaged in conversations where I demonstrated that I have certain likeness for some uh, kinds of meals, or better still, that I would never be found with a particular meal. I could have clicked certain things that demonstrate my preferences, or I might have discussed them, or in filling my information, which is usually the case. So you see date of birth, this, 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 gender, uh, values, and all of that. In filling those information, what is being done is data is being collected, and then this is then being used to personalize products that you just find, it then looks as if the computer or the internet even knows you more than you know yourself. It keeps bringing products that you keep thinking of. Let me give you another example. And now this, I'm just talking about computer, broadly speaking, behavioral pattern and targeted adverts. And then we go into how data connects to all of these things. Have you realized or have you uh, observed that when you go online to search for a particular product, having searched for that product, the next thing you begin to see is a lot of such products following you. Now, this is a kind of targeted advert that is born out of what you searched for. This is just one of those things. Now, you might then see personalized messages like, Dear Yitayo, and then the product I went to search for begins to follow. And you wonder, how did these people get to know my name? Don't be shocked. It's because of the access to data that is available on that social platform. And so, a lot of technology-driven solutions today, they are greased, or better still, they are powered, they are hoiled through data. And that's why you hear, for instance, one of the biggest uh, breakthrough in technology in this age and dispensation is artificial intelligence. So you'd hear that, oh, we're in, a, in the age of artificial intelligence. Take the example of ChatGPT. Are you aware that every information you put into ChatGPT is a data being given to ChatGPT, which then helps ChatGPT to adopt a behavioral pattern to suit your personality. In essence, having said a whole lot about yourself to ChatGPT and to ChatGPT to help you refine and all of that, if you drop a general question on ChatGPT without mentioning that this is about you, ChatGPT is likely to tailor it to your personality. And that's a behavior that is configured to your identity as a person. So in essence, data is the oil that fuels the solution that you see across different platforms. And this is one of the powers of data. And that is again why we said data is the oil of the new economy. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all of these social platforms, they are driven by data. And artificial intelligence, it's not about coding. Artificial intelligence, really, as said by somebody, is 75% of data and just 10% of coding. And you may want to dispute that. But the point is, all of these tools, robotic tools, uh, platforms that are conversational in nature, all of these tools are fed with data. And then there is a configuration to power that data. So they are able to behave that way, give you those response because they have been filled, they've been fed with so much data and they are able to power things or discuss with you. And this has also includes robotic uh, conversation and all of those things. 
So data is powerful. Data is key. Now, because of all of this, the debate has been in, uh, in the public space whether data should even be allowed without some payment. There are so many debates. One of such is what I just shared. There are debates around should data be free since, for instance, artificial intelligence takes development to an advanced level. Should people be allowed to determine how their data is going to be processed and what their data is going to be used for? What should be people's rights when it comes to the use of their information, meaning the use of their data? Now, because of all these questions, we have difference in laws across territories. We have the United States, uh, different states within the United States have their different data laws. We have the GDPR, which is applicable across Europe. Since United Kingdom has um, uh, you know, exited the EU, you, I mean, the United Kingdom also has its own laws. And most recently, Nigeria also came up with its own version of a law to regulate the use of data. But let's bring it back home to Nigeria, which is our hometown or our home. I mean, this is the home country. You'd recall that it was the practice when certain people, they, they, they borrow loan, I mean, they borrow some money, and then they are in default. And you might have seen it happen to you before where you just saw a message from an unknown person saying, so so person defrauded, please tell the person to refund money and all of that. Now, that is an abuse of data. But not many people are aware of this kind of abuse. And that's the more reason data is crucial. One of the principles around data use is the principle that states that anybody that is asking for data must ask for data intentionally. You can't just ask for any data just because you want to collect my information. It has to be something that is necessary to the service you want to render to me. So when you ask me for the details of the contacts on my phone, the question is, does it hate the service you want to render to me? So you begin to look at the concept of data and your rights, which is built on the Constitution, talking about right to privacy, built on the Constitution. You have a right to your private affairs and the influence of artificial intelligence, among many other products that are driven by data, will take us to a phase where we have to begin to redefine what right to privacy is all about. And perhaps even the law, which is the constitution itself, might need to then be reworked and looked at from the lenses of the reality of data-driven economy, which is a reality that is before every one of us. So you want to look at what does the law then say? What are your rights? You want to go for a program, it could even be in church, and then you are asked to supply certain information. And before you know it, this information, they are, they are then, well, so I'm not talking about churches now. I'm just saying this generally where maybe you supplied an information just because you needed to participate in an event. And then from that event, you begin to see targeted marketing targeted adverts directed to you. And you then begin to ask that, how did these people get my information? Now, these are data abuse, and these are some of those things that we are going to be talking about in this uh, series of conversation we are going to be having on you, uh, data, privacy, and the law. And I know that you know, you'll find this very enlightening and interesting as well because again, I want to remind you that data is the new oil and you need to be ready to understand what your rights are just in case you are what we call the data subject 
And just in case you use people's data, you have a platform that gathers or you know collates people's uh, data. Whether even as a, maybe you process people's data or you control the use of people's data, you also need to be ready for data economy. You might be having a platform where you engage, you have to get people's details for that platform to work effectively and to have a behavior pattern that is tailored to customize services to people. You should be interested in the conversation we are going to be bringing to you in this series. And my job today is to just welcome you and let you know that this is going to be a fantastic uh, conversation. It's going to be a fantastic podcast because data conversation is something that is still alien in the context of Nigeria. And we are going to be giving you the global perspective to it while bringing it home and analyzing our own local law on data pro I mean, data. Uh, protection act of uh, that was recently passed by the national assembly so i welcome you on board and my colleague adeda mola is likely to take you in the next session where she's going to be introducing you to the con concept of data all right thank you so very much for joining this session do have for yourself a lovely 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 day <music>